Hey guys, Bear Lovey, and welcome back to more Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got here to Clock Town in search of the Skull Kid. In this episode, we're gonna explore Clock Town a bit more, but first, I want to do this. Um, if you come here, you can get some rupees, but I want to because uh, you can only do this on the first day, so I want to make sure I get it done because we have three days to explore Clock Town because we can't really do much else because we can't leave Clock Town yet because guys don't let us leave because we don't have a sword. But I want to do this because it's kind of important. So we come down here, what do we got? We got... Some more Deku Scrubs. How about it? Will a young one play? One game, ten would be. Let's play. Alright, then use the Deku Flower and have some fun. Okay, so... Yeah, so yeah, the object is game, collect the rupees. If you fall, you lose, and we gotta beat that time. So... I really hope I don't start sucking really bad at this, because this isn't a hard game, but for some reason I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just rushing it or something. I just need to suck really bad at this game. I don't know, just, so if I start like trying to concentrate a little too hard, uh, oh god. I get nervous like at this. I remember one time I was, I was playing off, like, not off screen, just like, I remember years ago or something. I was playing this game and, good god. I think I had to like play, oh, I had to like uh, try this so many times, it was ridiculous. It was not hard, this game is not hard. <laughs> like it is, like, even I can do this. But you just gotta take your time, I guess, like, it's no rush. You do get to keep these rupees at, if you, in case you fail, so maybe go for the blue one if you're not too confident. Just to get some practice in is a good idea. But, you do want to come here on the first day though, and look at that, time just flies by, so. Make sure you come here almost ASAP, pretty much. Make sure you get it done. That's what I did. Okay, so we're almost done here. Okay, one more loopy. And we got the in the time limit too. There we go. Okay, it's all over, thank god. 103, amazing, it's a new record. Take this. And he like punches us. No, yeah, a purple loopy, 50 loopies. I'll record this time, so what's your name, young one? Hmm, Link. That's a strange name for a Deku Scrub. What's your name? Deku the Deku Scrub? Nah, whatever. Okay, now that we're done here, let's, let's get on out of here. Head into Clock Town and see what we can see. Yeah, you might be noticing it's getting dark out here and the music isn't playing. Because it is almost the night of the first day. As you can hear that bell, that indicates that it's turning to either day or night. Okay, so... I guess we'll start off in... Wait, let's go one. What do we got here? What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I'm the very same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though I'm already age 35, no fairies come to me yet. Keep on dreaming. My father suddenly grew up. Not my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange I'll sell you a map for a cheap sign of my friendship. Will you buy one single map? Hmm, you're selling me a friendship in the form of a map. you damn right I'll buy one. So we'll buy the Clock Town one for now, so. There we have the map of Clock Town. So yeah, and Tingle Tingle Kudu Limpa. Oh, the magic word that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Or what? But yeah, see, now that we have the map clocked down, the yellow is us, as it said, and the red is where we came from. And we are in the night of the first day. We are flying by. So that's about all we can show in North Clock right now. We'll get into what little boy there is doing later. I wish I could have showed this in the daytime, but bah, whatever. So we'll come this way. We are now in... As it'll stay in a few seconds... East Clock Town. And if you, maybe you guys can guess what the next area is, but here, this is the mayor's office. We can't do much there right now, so we're not going to go there. We'll solve that kid is later. Um, we, pretty much we can't really do much right now with the deck we scrub, so it's, it's basically uh, things we have to get done in the first few days. But most of this stuff is all one lay much, much later in the game. This is the milk bar. We can't go in here at night because we don't have membership, so we'll come in that later. This is the honey and darling, um... Games, there's like different games for each day, but we can't play them because we're only a Deku Scrub. We can't use the items acquired. This is an archery mini game that we can't play because we cannot shoot a bow. And we are a Deku Scrub. And this is a game that we can play, but we get crap prizes because we're a Deku Scrub. So pretty much we can't do much as a Deku Scrub. 
we get pretty shafted. But as you saw floating around here, there is, where'd it go? There it is, Stray Fairy. So we don't want to pick that up as, because that's the missing Stray Fairy that the Great Fairy wants us to get. So we're going to go ahead and grab that really quick. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I flew it over, god damn it. Ah, whatever, so let's try again. So, this is where you find it when it's nighttime. If it was daytime, you would find it at an area I'll show you in a few seconds. Please, hear my please, the mask could have broken me apart and scared my people. <laughs> Tano was saying that the Great Fairy was like, uh, I mean, the Skull Kid was no match for the Great Fairy, but the Great Fairy got like broken up by the Skull Kid apparently. Like, uh, maybe Tano's lying to us, you never know. Here in South Clock Town, there's like nothing for us to do here. So just the big old clock tower and this big tower they're building. A bunch of guys just yelling at him. And this stupid dog harassing us. Get out of here. Yeah, okay, just run away from the dog. It actually doesn't do damage, like, you can't die from the dog, but. It, does, it, it is annoying. What we got here? Who are you? Lordy. They said I was too loud in the packs in my room. They got mad. Sigh. Now I'm sad. I'll just stay here all night and away from their pad. I think you're supposed to be singing it. I'll try to sing it. You a child. I, well, never mind. So, yeah, you're just sitting here. But in the laundry pool, this is where you would actually find the straight fairy if it was daytime. You just have to skip across the water here. Oh, yeah, I said another mechanic on the shoulder with the deck of scrub. You don't swim with the deck of scrub. You have five hops and then. You spin, and if you fail, you fall in the water. So, just keep that in mind. A little frog here. Little frog's not important yet. Spoilers, but... Okay, let's get, keep on heading out here. Okay, so we're gonna head in to the next area, which north, east, south clock town. This could only mean... This is Clock City. No, this is West Clock Town. For all you smart people out there who figured it out by now. Okay, so... Here in West. Oh wait, hold on. There's something I gotta do. I don't know if I have time. I totally forgot about it. If not, we'll just do it the night of second day. Uh, I don't think we have time to do this. Okay, coming to the post. This is the post office. So then we got Mr. Postman here, like taking a dump in his bed, taking a dump on my bed. But no, talk to him. There we go. Four, five, six. And he just like falls out. Whoa, you startled. I'm pretty startled. Some guy standing on my bed too. Not this stuff. In my mind, I'm running exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yeah, sure, why not? Please press A to, oh, press a to start the timer. Count 10 seconds in the precise moment you th think it's 10. On the dot, press A again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Damn! So that will like go like see how hard it is for me to sync the my voice in the video. So we'll keep that in mind. But anyways, okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> that was just this guy. Everyone makes me pay for everything nowadays. Whatever. Oh God damn. Okay, so we're gonna try this one more time, and I'm probably gonna cut. Okay, one more time, one more time, one more time. Ah, oh, well, no, he kicks us out. Never, well, I guess we'll do it on the nice second day. Anyway, seeing as we just got kicked out of the post office, this is a sword training place where you can go to learn about the sword. But we don't have a sword, so. Over here is a lottery shop. Uh, to be honest, this place is a big waste of rupees. Like, the odds of you making any money here is pretty slim. I wouldn't recommend going here at all. I never do. These people are like dancing, what do you guys say? Don't bother us! Let us do a try to learn how to thrill her. Oh well. Whatever, MJ can do it better. Here with the bomb shop. That's on point is that too. No. Oh, shut up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's uh, poop. But anyways, this is the bomb shop. We can't they won't sell us anything because we're a Deku Scrub. Here is just the trading post we buy, it's every one of the middle items, like potions and such. But well, we won't need that right now. And this is the curiosity shop. Pretty much this is like, later in the game, we do get items stolen by random creatures throughout the game. This is where they'll show up. And this is pretty much just a shady pawn shop. So there's items we will need to, will not complete the game. Just like more uh, collectible items. So keep that in mind. But this is a very important place. See what you guys say. Hey there little guy, I want you to deposit some rupees. Nowadays even people have money, they don't deposit any, nothing, nothing. So for a limited time only, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. 
For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get a knife that holds a lot of rupees. So what will be? So let's give him some rupees. So this is pretty much the banking system of the game. So uh, we'll give him all our money. We don't need it right now. Yes, we will. Seriously, that's a lot. A lot, a lot. So little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposit. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Oh, I just gotta go mix it up in the back and some vigorous fat. No, shut up. Hey, relax. It doesn't hurt any more. It's just not gonna hurt. So, yeah, he just like stamps this on the head and all of a sudden... That's a bank ID. It's like a bank card, but there we go. And I don't know if this... People always said like that this might be a girl. I've always thought it was a guy, but I don't know. There's never a confirmation if it is or not. It's weird. So, anyway, so that's West Clock Town. So, we pretty much went over everything in Clock Town now, so... Why don't we head back and see the Great Fairy? Because we have the Straight Fairy. Okay. Heading into North Clock Town here. Okay, we're almost there. Run, run, run. Yeah, it's only three o'clock. Jeez, feels like we just started the episode. But we're almost... Alas, we are almost done. But now, let's get in here to the Fairy Fountain. Now that we find the Straight Fairy, we just run up to it and it'll release on its own. There we go. Uh oh. Fusion. Ah! And they all turn in. To the Great Fairy. This was the face of beauty back in the N64 days. Oh, sh I shudder at that thought now. Tattle, and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I thought the masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. Ah, oh, maybe that explains it. All I can offer you is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. You think that'd be like, she thinks that as like a mediocre gift. Like, we're getting bestowed some magical powers. Like, how often does that happen to anyone? And we're just like, oh god, are you sure it's magic? Yeah, it's just magic. Just just take it. Just take it. It's magic. That sounds like some weird things that Link has been given here. And there we go. And chest pump. Look how big his hat is in this shot. It's like going to the ground. Even going to magic power. Current form has beat the troop bubble blast. Pressing. Yeah, blah, blah. I'll show you what it did in a second. Yeah, yeah I'll explain. Okay. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's power, kind young one. If ever you return to your former shape, come see me and I should give you more help. Mm, more help from the beautiful fairy. I'm in. But no. Okay, now that we have that, let's get on out of here. And I'll show you what it meant by bubble blast and such. Okay, see this guy, the pea shooter of death here trying to pop his balloon. Now that we have the bubble, hold B, hold down B, goes for his person. And release the bubble of doom. There we go, and he's like, oh, Jesus, son of a... <laughs> okay. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a decky scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads the observatory outside town. Now, I'm interested. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think of getting in that easily. I can't just tell you what your code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? I guess so. I'm scared. Just comes up and beats us up. Alright, line up, guys. Where the hell do you guys come from? If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Wait, tomorrow morning? That's like an hour from now. Oh, God. Yeah, that's like... Yeah, anyways. So, North Clock down here. You just run up and spin. If you let them... When you run up to them, they like jump and they're like, oh, they get stylish. And that's when you like do the spin attack and they get caught. So, the next one's over here. Okay, where is he? There we go. Okay, yeah. The second one's right there. Maybe I can get them all in this video, so. Next two are over here in East Clock Town. You hear a cuckoo going off. That is not one of them right there. He just, he's the guard. So he's up on a cuckoo up here. Down he goes. The chase is now on. Ugh. Yeah, you can like knock him over if you hit him, if you don't actually run into him. Last one's up here. You see him up on the roof. If you come over here, he'll like jump off. And... Yeah, I actually think he ran back up. Oh, come off now. Where is he? Ah, whatever. Ah, we're not gonna get him. You notice the screen's like getting all small. We're going to the night of... The, well, the dawn of the second day. There we go. But with that, I believe we are gonna end things off here. So, question of the video. I'm gonna pause it here. So, question of the video. Um, 
What's your favorite energy drink? I always make up my video just on the spot. I just I have an energy drink here, Red Bull. Personally, my favorite energy drink is Monster, but yeah, leave your answers in the comment below. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So it's been the bare love. Let's play Majora's Mask, and I'll see you guys next time.